What's up, man? It's your boy D, and we at it once again. Beautiful Saturday morning, and this time I got my dude. He did this before with us now. He did yeah. this before with us, way back before anybody knew who we was, and he took the time out to come sit down with us anyway. Y'all, look, how can I put this? When you think of nonprofits in, in New Orleans, when you think of nonprofit organizations, you think of Son of a Saint. You think that's like here, and then everybody else just. Yeah. I'm just saying, that's just my I personal opinion. I appreciate that. That's my personal that. opinion. But when you think of when you think of son of a saint, you think of big things that's happening around the city of New Orleans that they do with kids, that they do with the teens, and man, this the whole program is blowing up even bigger and bigger to where now it's like, hey, I want some more, I want some organizations to come help me with some of these. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> so without further ado, my dude, my dude, I call him Sonny. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Everybody, everybody <laughs> called him Sonny. Sonny. Everybody you know called him Sonny. I'm, you know, Bivens, Bivian, Bivian. I know I'm in trouble for calling me Bivian. Yeah. I know my mom oh. would call me Bivian. See, when look. I'm in trouble, but you know, <laughs> Sonny is what I go by. I call him Sonny. Yeah. So my dude, Sonny came set on the on the porch this time. Absolutely. On the porch. Absolutely. We on the porch yeah. with my dude Sonny, and I was just want to thank yeah. him for coming out and sitting on the porch, and he about to give us some information and give us yeah. some things on what Son of a Saint is doing, where, who, how can you join and help, how can you be a part of the movement, and, you know, just just telling us what, 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 it, what it is. Yeah. Thank you again, Son, for coming you, and sit bro. down. Bro. Absolutely, <laughs> man. I love what you're doing, too. So Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Oh, so, awesome. first off, Son, let's do this here for the people who don't know. Yeah, yeah. How did you come about with Son of a Saint? Yeah, it's, man, it all started, I always say it started in, I guess when I was three years old, mm -hmm. my dad died in front of me, you know, took his last breath. Uh, this was in 1984. Um, and I, I was I was growing up with my mom, my older mm -hmm. sister, my grandmother, my aunt, you know, had a great loving environment, right. you know what I mean? Um, education was preached, my mom, my grandmother all taught um, faith and everything, so, uh, you know, I, when I was 29 and I saw there was a boy that had murdered another boy, it was like Noah.com, I guess, and two lives destroyed, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, if uh, their father's, one, their father died in prison, the other one was murdered outside of prison. And I said, man, if we could just get boys earlier, mm -hmm. preventative, right, before they're in the system or anything like that, long term, so you got them for a long period of time. Boys are with us for about 10 years, each boy. and holistic you know more than just mentorship you know and incorporating mental health and education and travel and you know all of these things that nutrition you know mm -hmm. all of these things that make a whole person you right. know what i'm saying right, right. Uh, and then we just started grinding there i didn't know any boys in the community so i went to i think it was i, think I went to digby pontrain park uh talked to the coach and said you got any kids that <laughs> that you got growing up without dad and he pulled five kids right there and those boys have been with me they graduated to the program mm -hmm. we started with five i grabbed 100 bucks out of my account started the nonprofit, and you know we've been growing ever since right, so and that right. was 12 years ago so right yeah. right so y'all i'm gonna be sweating a lot i'm gonna be patting myself nah, man, you know, this sun is, this yeah. sun is hot on me but it's See, all bro, good it's new orleans so, right that's what i said bro bring your bucket cap no man. it's all good I, I don't mind it no no worries <laughs> so man damn that's that's like some yeah. real, that's took a hundred dollars and was just like, let's roll. Yeah, Went I mean, me and said, man, look, just give me a few of them who, who were that, in the room. That, that's what it was. And I, you know, I talked to my guy, Ola at UNO. He was mm -hmm. that social athletic director. Uh, and Ola, Ola said, Sonny, whatever you need, I'll never say no. He actually works for us. He's our CFO now. Oh. So, um, you know, so we used to go to UNO and do our classes. Mm -hmm. It was like on Saturday, we would go just talk about, you know, things that are going on, mm -hmm. how to, how to, you know, conflict resolution, mm -hmm. how to talk to people, man. There's those, some of those basic things, uh, cause I want to be comfortable in that environment too. And we just started graduating from there, incorporating mental health services. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this stuff, I always say my mom developed cause you know, I saw a counselor from when I was six to adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like I said, education is free. So, you know, making sure that our boys are, um, are reading on level and, you know, math skills and, you know, a lot of that stuff. So had the opportunity to travel and uh, go to summer camps and things like that and, and recreation was important. I was part of NOAA, mm -hmm. you know, I played sports there. 
And so making sure our boys are even getting out of New Orleans, mm -hmm. you know, and having relationships with other people um, that aren't from here, you know. So we, you know, sort of uh, building relationships with camps across the country and our boys being able to go there. But, I mean, there's a whole whole bunch I could, mm -hmm. I could talk about. But um, for me, it was, it was just having the awareness of what my mom did for me mm -hmm. uh, and putting it on paper, our logic model, <laughs> and just taking it and sticking to it. Because, you know, the thing is, is you could go out, once you have success, it's like people, you know, they come want you to do all these different Disney. things, you know, and it's like, no, we're going to stick to it. To and it. I think that's a big part of our success is just sticking to, to, the, the, model. to the model, man. Right, yeah, right, that's right. huge. Right, sure. because that's, you know what, we talk, we talk about that all the time, mm -hmm. um, how when you start having the success, and some people jump outside of what they what, what got them there. Absolutely. You know, and then you start looking around like, damn, I, I wasn't supposed to be doing this right, right. here. Yeah. I was exactly. set to do this, not this. 100%. So so to see you guys still stick to y'all model mm -hmm. of what y'all trying to do, still out there um finding the young men, still yeah. still catching them early <laughs> right. to prevent because um I wanna say the other day when we was in the um when we was at the I call it the club. Oh, house. the facility? The, 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 the club. <laughs> yeah. Paradise, Paradise I mean, you know, yeah. whatever one you want to call it. Right. But when, we, when we was there, you know, Elliot was telling us how um, it's so many boys that y'all have in there, you yeah. know, and it's he and he and he gave us a story on one kid y'all have there. Um, he was coming every day, um, was going to school, and the kid saw how he was how he was acting and how things was going for him. Mm -hmm. And he filled the application out himself and then oh, yeah. gave it to his mom and it was like. <laughs> exactly. So we, we called and, and it was, mom said, I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I, 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 I heard about y'all, but I didn't know her son actually applied himself, you right. know? And so, and we have many cases where kids are recommending boys for it that right. are already in the program, right. you know what I mean? And, you know, having over 200 boys and, you know, like I said, it's, it's long term, right. you know what I'm saying. So having 200 is like having 2,000 and times 20,000 when, when it's, you know, when the crisis stuff happens, you know what I mean. It's, you know, but but we have a great team of, of staff that, you know, that that show up. Okay. You know, and right, 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 yeah. man. So, bro, that's, dude. It's when you think about it, when you when you wrap your mind around it, 200, 200 boys, and then y'all have a long waiting list of boys yeah. that want to get in. Right, right. It's almost like man, y'all just one. Yeah, entity absolutely you know how can how how can how can other entities get involved sure so they can help you guys right. because man 200 boys yeah. man that's a that's a lot well it's it's 200 boys is a lot like i said when you when you're incorporating all the different pieces right. of it you know when you got to pair a boy with a mentor but do it in an organic way that takes a lot of time mm -hmm. You know when you do have those mental health services and those that and like with education it's our it's our staff going to the schools it's advocating for the boys and making sure they're doing everything they have to do act prep every piece of it takes a lot of time you know what i mean um and the biggest challenge is how do we get this to more kids right mm -hmm. and, and unfortunately like you know boys join between the age of 10 and 12 so mm -hmm. that's it so if you're nine you're too young if you're 13 you're too old so it's a small gap Window. but right. but that's part of the the, the formula right? right it's getting them early and so it really is the the financial support that we have to go out and get but it's 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 hard because you know somebody may say oh my, I, I applied and my son didn't get in you know and it's not because we didn't right want him to be in yeah. or he didn't need but there's a priority so and, and i'll tell you you know when you look at um, most of our boys, about 70 or so percent, our boys have been lost to violence, about 20 or so percent long-term incarceration. But, and then you have a small, like, willful neglect, but willful neglect might be mom not even knowing who dad is, right? Or mm -hmm. boy has never seen his dad. So you have a priority, and priority would be a kid that, who's witnessed their, we have, you know, about 20 of our boys witnessed their fathers being murdered. So like, and the trauma and, and poverty there. So it's like, that is priority over maybe something um, that like maybe a wolf, you know, dad lives in Gentilly, mom lives in Metairie or something like that, trying to get involved in that. So, right, right. and you know, so there's a, there's a lot of details to it as mm -hmm. to why it's hard to, you know, cause to take certain kids. Cause like for us, we base how many kids we take in on how much money that we're able to bring in, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it can be hard, right? So to answer your question, I think, um, one is us trying to figure out like you know we're gonna start like a son of a saint and friends so basically mm -hmm. where friends of our boys or siblings something like that are able to participate in son of a saint without maybe getting the full uh, 
uh, targeted support, you know, because we have access to certain things like tickets to this thing, uh, uh, exposure, maybe even camps and stuff like that, mm -hmm. allowing them to come in and partner with other organizations to where maybe they can offer these things for some of their mentees, mm -hmm. if that makes sense, no, right? It makes sense. So it's Definitely. like some of us saying they're friends, so it's Definitely. not just our kids. Um, also on the collaborative, we have a Crescent City Mentoring Collaborative that uh, we started started a couple years ago. We got a grant um, from Blue Cross Blue Shield, but you know it's us, 100 black men, uh, reaching for the stars, uh, Silverback Society, and that's just the start of it, right? It's mm -hmm. just this group, just and and actually part of the grant was just a small, it was a small grant, meaning we we couldn't have like multiple organizations mm -hmm. with it, but. I think from that and, and growing it to the organizations and people who are doing the work, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just like we are in the mentorship space, that's a good start, mm -hmm. you know. But I do a lot of it uh, is uh, even advising smaller nonprofits on this work and what not to do, what to do, because the nonprofit sector is a, it's a it's a beast, man. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's not just uh, you know mentoring is one piece of it, right? right? And the model and all right. that stuff. But when you look at <laughs> When you look at the nonprofit organization side of it, you know, development, operations, transportation, just, you know, how to, just getting uh, finance. Finance, yeah, <laughs> man. And there's so many creative important, ways. Right? It's most important. But, you know, some of that, and, uh, you know, we started this sort of group. It's about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 organizations mm -hmm. for, um, uh, black leaders, black nonprofit leaders, and just sharing information, you mm -hmm. know, and um, uh, welcome for other people to, I, to to join us. Just, you know, you kind of small, <laughs> start small, get all the kinks out, and then grow, you know, but, uh, you know, if people are interested in that, too, please hit me up. You right, know? right, so, right, right, right. Man, damn, son. Yeah. So, man, shit, you got a lot going on as far as, like, your hands being here in the yeah. city of New Orleans. Yeah, I'm sure. talking about, like, it's a lot go you you have you not only you looking at after you got your own set with the, with your kids and yeah. building, um, but you also also trying to figure out a way to incorporate others in, yeah. in, into it. So man, what what is what is where did that come from and what is that like thinking about yeah. that on a constant basis? Well, I think um, you know, it's like we growing Son of a Saint has taken a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, look, we're 12 years in, I would say, you know, the first six, we didn't have our first hire to probably like year, maybe five, but we had to get all of our stuff in order mm -hmm. in order to be able to share with other people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so I think that we're to a point now where we have that knowledge, we've, we've messed up, we've, we've done great things, we've, you know, there's, you know, going through the process, right? And I think now we're like, all right, we. <laughs> We got, we can share some of this stuff right, now, right, you know right, what I mean? Right. Or, or, and I have the, honestly, I have the capacity more right now than ever to share that because we've been mm -hmm. able to build our staff, you know, going from, I think we had like four staff in maybe 2018, 19, now we have 30 full time, you know oh, what I mean? So it's wow. been a big jump. jump. And mm -hmm. so because of that, it's actually freed me up a little bit more um, to be able to, like I said, have the capacity mm -hmm. to be able to do some other things. We just hired a, a great, um, Director of Programming, Dr. Moria, uh, she's amazing. She's got a lot of a mm -hmm. lot of great ideas, um, you know. So it's like really the team mm -hmm. I think that's been allowing us to be able to reach out even more. Right, right. You know what I mean. So what are some of the programs that you are um, that y'all have for the kids a little bit? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, at, yeah. At the building, you know. Yeah. So in, in the building, you know, our building is about sixteen square, thousand square feet. It's in Mid City behind mm -hmm. Crest City Steakhouse, um, and you know, one, it's a place, it's a safe place, so boys come in there. When they come in there, they're usually getting services specifically, but we have we have nutrition, we have cooking classes, we have book club, we have robotics. Uh, we have where they, they might be seeing a mental health specialist, like I said, they might be meeting up with their mentor. Mm -hmm. um, we have an aquarium there, we got <laughs> no, basketball so, so, court, we got workout facilities, so we have everything there, right? right? Yeah, right, like, man. <laughs> Yo, one stop shop. So, <laughs> yo, look when I walked through uh, and I toured it the other day, I was looking like, who would want to leave from here? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And Eddie was like, yeah, we do close at eight, nine o'clock. I was like, man, I would sneak up in there and just just find in the corner and just go to sleep and be like, wait till they leave. All right. right. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, as much as we can, man. The boys are very right. welcome there. So, 
So we have stuff there, but then even outside of the building, you know, um, mm -hmm. like I said, with the travel, with the, right. um, we have an AAU basketball team, we have a football team, flag yeah. football, we have sailing, we have horseback riding. Right, right. Um, there's just a lot of different different things that uh, that we have that go on outside mm -hmm. of the, the space. Uh, so, yeah. So let me ask you this: um, with okay, with the um, with with the boys, you say y'all had the AAU. Um, football. Yeah. How, is, do y'all do y'all incorporate that with Nord, or, do, or that's your own deal? That's just do? that's just our own. And usually, honestly, the boys that are in it, it's you know, we usually the boys that are in it maybe not on their own teams, mm -hmm. right? Um, so our boys are learning more of sometimes the basics versus it being just like the, the stars of, you know what I'm saying? The stars that are, you know, the traveling team and like we, we're coming for the basics, right? right we're right, the right, basics. Right, right. I'm just, I'm not bad news fans. I didn't say that, but like, you know what I mean? We, we getting it. We got, hey, I don't know, my coaches are going to be mad at me. Let me say it. The bad news bad. No, 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 we, we, we getting it together, but actually we won a championship. We won a championship, flag football championship, uh, I guess a couple of years ago, which it was great because when we went out there, you know, the boys were getting defeated and it was bad. You know, we weren't, weren't lining up proper. I was like, man, what's, what's going on here? I wasn't coaching. You know, I'm out there, man. Let me get out of here and start coaching. But um, <laughs> you the GM, right? Right. right, 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 right. Yeah. We, but it, but it was it was funny because you know we, we working with him and our coaches did such a good job with building that confidence and that communication. Uh, after we assessed what was going right. on, and they wound up winning the whole thing, man. And oh, it was, wow. it was, it was, it was such a, a confidence builder for our boys. Right. Um, but yeah, so those those things, and that that helps with participation, you mm -hmm. know, in, in the group. But a lot of our boys are involved in right. knowing, um, like I said. And I was, you know, I'm a Noah kid, right, so right. you know, I, I definitely appreciate everything right, that Noah's, right. you know, been trying to do. And there's different mm -hmm. things with Noah. You know, people have different experiences. Right. You know what I mean? But. We all do, you know. So I'm not gonna say nothing bad about me. No, I, people. no, no, no. I would. I mean, I don't. You know, uh, I got my boys from my no, initial boys from, from Noah. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And I really think that um, it's a really special. Group. I mean, we gotta, you know, figure out how to get more kids involved mm -hmm. in it. You mm -hmm. know, and I just say as a problem, everybody on their their iPhones and tablets at home. You know, um, but you know, it's all right, good. Right. Much love, Noah. But talk, but speaking with Nord and our city officials, man, like a, yeah. I want to say about a month ago, you was you was spearheading a, um, a meeting with the city officials, um, um, with I guess probably with Nord and different things. So what was that like? What was that like trying to see what the, yeah. what we what right now what we have going on in the city with our team, yeah. and with the crime <laughs> going on. What was that yeah. like to sit down with with a, with a bunch of our city leaders and try to figure this thing out? So, so that was actually uh, the police chief. The yes. police chief, uh, the interim police chief, had reached out, wanted to connect with mentorship groups in New Orleans, uh, and she reached out to us, um, you know, first, and we wanted to bring other people involved that are in the, the mentorship space. So we met at our facility uh, and just got to talking about what. Uh, the organizations are going through challenges, positive things, and a lot of it is just like the communication, mm -hmm. you know, that's lacking between maybe the police force and, and, and us, right? right like, and, right, and, and, right. and for us, it's like, who are the kids? There's kids involved in the system, right? And they're younger siblings, mm -hmm. right? Going through the same thing, right? Same situation at home usually, but how do we get those in now before? And the whole thing is prevention for us and like a lot of organizations, how do we get them in earlier, mm -hmm. you know? And so for us, it was just trying to figure out uh, a process of knowing how to identify kids and people talking together, right? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we have, we're having a follow up next month and it's like, we're not gonna solve, it's like we're gonna solve so, everything, right, but it's right. a conversation but it's, starter, right. you know, right. and, and figuring out how to get, how to identify some of these kids uh, early and get them set up in mentorship organizations because right. every every mentorship group they we do it differently we mm. want the same similar outcomes um, right but we just do, may do it a little bit different um, so you're saying so what you're saying is you're talking about something along the lines of saying hey um we see this 10 year old kid he you know he's he, he don't have he don't have the ideal living situation right he don't have the ideal schooling situation <laughs> So let's go ahead and try to get him, get him in here, 
before we could, before he get to the point where he already out there. Exactly. In the street. Absolutely. So that's so basically that's what y'all. That's what that, it was, that, that's it, what we were talking about. I mean, the thing is, you can go earlier than ten, right? right. But it's like every these organizations have we the capacity is limited, right? right? And it's like a lot of pressure on these organizations to just take every kid and it's really hard, you know what I mean? So it's like one, building the capacity, doing it in a unified way to where people, because people like giving a collaborative efforts, right? Um, whether, whether it be political or, or fam mm -hmm. family foundations, you know, companies, uh, but then also identifying who those kids are. And a lot of times we know who they are, but like from the, from the, the I guess the police stamp standpoint, right? Right. You know what they're seeing, right. uh, but also right. it's it's how to get them um, involved with activities, right? Mm -hmm. Because you know how you see the police officers and the relationships there. Uh, I know they used to have pals, I think, before mm -hmm. where the police, you know, it's kind of a recreation thing with community members and the police. But um, you know, having different things where where kids can. Uh, I guess see people and I have an understanding of what each side is is going through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and it's not you know from from a safety standpoint, but uh, you know there's a lot of things that that kids can learn from mm -hmm. each other uh, and right. adults. You right. know what I mean? So right. it's just it's about three or four different things, and uh, we had one conversation about it, um, and there's a follow up and just sure seeing what happens from there. You know what right. I mean? But I, I think what's good is just at minimum groups, the mentorship groups getting together uh, and seeing each other and being able to share, uh, you know, uh, best practices and things like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, you know, it's hard to get every group together. Yeah. That's what I, I also want to say, you know, we want every group together, but it's, it's hard, you know, you can't, you know, I, I mean, and, and, and <laughs> but, but I will say is, you know, people um, sharing what they're doing and, and making the people aware of it so that we can have more collaboration, right, you know. Right, man, that's yeah. say, bro. You know what? When you think about when you think about nonprofits and you think about yeah. mentorship, you know, right. you know, a lot a lot of people really don't know the time and effort that you have to put into this. Yeah, um, I'm talking about because you have to think on the level of um, you have to see ahead. You can't just see <clears throat> absolutely what's in front. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta think what you gotta think ahead. You gotta also think about the kid, and then you also gotta think about, hey, what if, what if I get this call one o'clock in the evening or twelve o'clock in the evening? The school like, man, look, we need you to come over here. And right, something going on. We yeah, and you have you. to be there. Right, <laughs> uh, you get a call from the mom at two in the morning. Hey, look, man, my son, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, whoa, you know. No, I got you. I mean, it's and we were there, right? Or and when I say we. I, Starting it, I was at all the schools. I was making sure boys didn't get suspended or expelled. I was picking them up and bringing them to their extracurricular activities and trying to set everything up. Talking to moms, I had to get out of that because, and when I say out of it, we weren't going to grow if I was in the weeds, right? And a lot of organizations I talk to is great intentions. They want to do it and they know it from their own experience. But it's hard to get out of that, right? And to build an organization and to, to sustain it. And I always tell people we gotta delegate, you know what I mean? And, and if you really want a, a, an organization for it to grow, you gotta enlist people, but you gotta get out, out of the weeds sometimes, you know what I mean? Um, and every, everybody's different, but that's just my approach to it was, I gotta get out of the weeds, I gotta ask people for support because the dollars, you can't do anything without it. You know what I mean? I mean, time is, obviously you can do stuff with time, but but the need becomes so great and then people have their own personal lives and, and all that. So I always tell people in order to get, you know, especially the funding, you gotta go to where the funding is. You know what I mean? And you gotta make yourself uncomfortable and learn and, you know, because that's that's how you gotta get it. You know what I mean? And, and you gotta ask and, and you can't be scared to ask. You know, that's one thing It's like, you gotta go out because of what you need. And, you know, you're not asking for yourself. You're asking for the kids, or you're asking for whether it's a nonprofit for elderly or, you whoever. know, homeless, whoever. You know, you, you're asking it apart from them, and so we got to take our own uh, views of money, our own views of like uh, of of other things out of it, and so like we're fighting for them. So, for me, it's you know, and it's also building out teams. You know, building out a development team and building out, um, you know, the program program team. Wow. But, you know, this this different interests and we want to continue to grow people ask all the time okay y'all want to grow nationally and all 
I'm like, man, you know how hard it is to get this to where we are now. I mean, I'm like, I may not be the right person. I have to hire a growth, you know, <laughs> officer or something like that. But, you know, New Orleans is where New Orleans is where we are, and we want to continue to steadily grow and, like I said, be able to have other kids involved in it. But I think best practices, other people learning our model. We went to this national mentoring conference in D.C. Mm -hmm. like, uh, like a month ago, and we presented. Uh, we have like three to five organizations from there that could be able to come down to New Orleans, learn our model. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it could be building an institute, maybe a fellowship or something, and being able to spread it uh, to where others learn mm -hmm. and, and take it to their cities. And maybe there's a son of a saint certificate or something like that that they're able to do. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, but let me tell you, I'm not going to knock on every door, man. It's, look, as hard as it was <laughs> getting this, you know, it's, right. it's, it's, so, it's a beast, man. It's a beast. So, Man, wow. Okay. <laughs> so look, son, it's so hey, – okay. Okay. When you, like you said, you was in the weeds, you was in, in the, the weeds, weeds going yeah. through it. At what point did you just look and say, man, I got what, what, what made you, what, what click that made you say, man, I got to get up out these weeds if I want to grow this company? I think I was forced. It was the birth of my son, 2014. So we start, you know, about three or four years after. Um, just so much dedication to him and time. And you know, that sort of kind of forced me to think about it differently mm -hmm. and go, okay, I, can, I, have, I have 30, 40 boys by myself, it felt like. You know, I had a couple of quality mentors there uh, helping me, but it was like, if I want to grow this, uh, I got to enlist some help, you know, because there's the, there's the finance side of it, mm -hmm. the accounting, the transportation side. I mean, there's so many, so you're much. building a business, right. man. It's like, it's, it's a nonprofit, right. you're building a business. It's, it's, it's really a business. It, it, it's a business, the it's, money's going to the kids or the service, right. but it's a business. business. So you, right. you I, and, and I guess that's what, I guess that's what we, a lot of us can't wrap our head around. We're yeah. looking at it as a nonprofit uh -huh. and thinking, okay, it's a nonprofit, but at the end of the day, like you said, I'm running a business. It's a business. I still have to run a business 100%. because in order for me to help these boys, I need funding to help them. Without yeah. funding, I can't do nothing. It's hard to, yeah. It's hard. It's no matter what scale you're trying to do get, it, whether you're trying to buy, bring them to the movies, or you know, whether it's food, mm -hmm. gas, I mean, it's, it requires money, money to be able to be able to, to help as many kids, kids as you, you can. can. Yeah. Because you can't, I just, <clears throat> I just can't load up. 40, 50 kids in this room, and I ain't got, I ain't got no funds or nothing to do right, nothing with exactly. these kids. Because you think about it, even if I wanted, like you say, with the flag football, even if I wanted to do the flag football with them, uh -huh. I, yeah, I got an open field or a park I could go in, right. but I still got to buy footballs, I still got to buy flags, I still got to buy, you know, food, make food, uniforms, Gatorade, uniforms, yeah, exactly. everything to, to, to make this thing work, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, man, so, so it took, like you said, it took your son coming along and, and finally saying, you know what? I gotta turn this thing around. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was that, it was natural growth, and over time meeting people who wanted to see that growth mm -hmm. too. Um, but you know, when I want my son, my son is, is twenty four. I mean, he's he's got all my focus, you know. Right. And so uh, it was like being able to to get, like I said, get out of the weeds. Um, and you know, look, it got to a point where I was, you know, you you could be with one kid trying to deal with all his issues. Uh, you know, talking to mom, I mean, that could take two, three days a week, just, yeah. just on one, just you know what I mean? One. So right. it, it, you right, know, right, dealing with right. the school and stuff like that. So it was just, I really, honestly, I just needed help. It right. was work-life balance, I right. guess, you know? And I was like, <laughs> you know, I got, I got to get help. And actually we got a grant, um, I think it was like 2014, 15 or whatever from uh, Justice Winslow, uh, he plays in the NBA, but he did, um, he had a, um, a grant from a, another a, a group and he gave us like 30k um from it and it was like you know it was like the biggest thing i was like man this is you know i was like all right we can hire yeah, somebody right, right. now so we hired an activities coordinator <laughs> and i said i told her, i said it was chris i said you handle the boys right i said you handle the boys i'll go do the grow the, the operations <laughs> development side of it but i was like i just anything did anything deal with the boys just deal with just it deal yeah, with just it. deal look, with it look right. i'm giving you full, <laughs> full authority every day. to do I'm it full authority yeah. every day look look don't even run it by me just right. do it just do know? it and uh <laughs> and, and, and once that happened i started to see how it freed me up mm -hmm. man it was it was beautiful just seeing i had more time for everything right and once that happened, it was that was it from there. Right, I was right, like, right. man, I gotta get, 
you know, we got we, we need more people. We need more humans to help out. Look, yeah. Man. So, bro, look. So now you you got your free, you freed up. You are able to go out there and really start pounding the pavement, looking for donors, doing mm -hmm. this and doing that, mm -hmm. right? So I'm looking at the donor wall. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I'm sitting there saying to myself, how in the hell he got Ashna to come in here like, yeah. Bro, what what was that like just sitting at the table with Ashna? That was great. Actually, that was a relationship with one of our, our board members, our chairman, actually, Bill Hines. Okay. And he was like, Sonny, let's go have lunch with the CEO. So we had lunch, and I just I put some Because we were doing our capital campaign, okay. so for some reference. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> okay. we were raising, okay. we were raising uh, money for our capital campaign. And, you know, you got to do naming rights for certain things mm -hmm. and uh, try to package it together. And I was like, I had all these options here. You know, and he's coming to support programmatically, I right, think. Right, right. And I just pitched him, and he took the highest level, yeah. and that was it. He said it was the most expensive lunch he had. But I, I, I would say, I would say for me, it was it's, it was more of a partnership right. with Ashna versus a a gift because you know his whole thing was he's like, look, we got to th this, we're invested in kids and and the the, the whole kid like mm -hmm. we are, and so hiring you know mental health specialists and case managers that mm -hmm. Ashna is doing for us. Really helps. It helps with capacity. Right. We're right. able to have more boys. We're able to do more with, our, with, you know, our attention to them. So, that was that was beautiful. And like the thing is, is with, with funding, you know, when you get credibility from one or another, they more people get on get board, board, right? Because they right. see they're like, okay, they've been vetted. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Like, right, right. We, 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 we see where our money we, going. We see where our money's going. <laughs> right, right. right. So, right. So that so it's funny because that that relationship uh, with Asha, it, it wasn't necessarily started there with the CEO because I had met him probably 15 years ago when I was working with the Saints, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so it's interesting, it's just like, and, and I hadn't had much communication with him in between that time, but it's just interesting, like a lot of things, are, it's built early, you know, mm -hmm. it's like uh, people see success, but a lot of these people I've been knowing for a while are like, they've said no three, four, five, ten times. <laughs> You know what I mean? Right. It's all right. You no, say no, no, it's like, all right, I'll come back I, to I, you in I, two years. Yeah, Next year, you, I'm going to come, come back, back to you. Look, you say no, okay, you, for whatever reason, whether you feel like, now, nah, I don't think you're ready yet. Right. Right? I'm just, okay. and, and that's all right. And that's yeah, cool. Yeah. But, when I, but when this sucker blow, I'm a, you, I'm a, it's gonna, you ain't going to have no other choice but to say yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you're not gonna have a, exactly. You ain't going to have no other choice right. but to say, all right, man, let's, let's roll. You know what I'm saying? Because people like people like winners. People like people who aren't going to give up on things, mm -hmm. right? So as a supporter, if you see that, Man, they keep coming back to me. They're not. It could be aggravating, whatever. But if they're gonna aggravate me like this, they're gonna make sure these kids get what they need to get. You know what I'm saying? Like they must be. And and that's that's sort of the. I mean, it's it's real. That's right, the approach, right. you know. And you know, respectfully, people don't. You know, nobody has to, to give, give to you, right? right? Like right. nobody you know, has you got, to do that, but, right? But, but when you when you showing them you have a when you showing showing them you're doing something positive that's helping. Right. Everybody wanted, like you said, everybody want to be a part of a winner. And when you see, and when they see how the kids are winning when uh -huh. they leave your program, it's right. like, I need to be a part of that. Absolutely. You yeah, know? I mean, because not having kids in the judicial system right now, you know yeah. what I mean? And, like, historically, we had, we had some touches here and there. But, like, for the most part, you know, being able to prevent our boys from being in the judicial system, knowing their background and family and things like that, that's what they're seeing. They're like, look, these outcomes are... are it's showing itself, right? Like, mm -hmm. these aren't made up things. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, right. you know, and also for us is like the narrative of what it sort of shifted, but like the narrative of what our boys, if you look at our social media, boys are doing fun things. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You can't, we can't tell the story of every single kid and what, we don't come from an angle of like, oh, this, let me tell you all the bad things that is going on in his life. Let me give you know you what I'm saying? Good stuff. Right. Well, yes, this is a positive because we don't talk about it enough. But y'all, I mean? but y'all, but y'all are working on that in house. Absolutely, one hundred percent in house. But but we're not we're not trying to exploit the kids and and, and everything right. that they're going through. Nor do we talk about fathers is really like in son of a saint. We just do fun stuff, build trust, and set a a, a, a path for them, right? Um, and lay it out. Say this is what if you want to get here, this is what we got to do. You fall off, let's get you back. You know what I'm saying? So, and we don't kick boys out where it's like, okay, you do something bad, you're gone. You know, that's not what a what a, a mentor Mentorship. does or a family, you know, father right, does. Right. You just you just look at him and say, roll with it. You be yeah. like, say, bro, we gotta yeah. fix this. We gotta <laughs> fix it. <you laughs> this stuff we gotta fix. Absolutely, man. So, damn, bro. Yeah. I, speaking of them trips, man. Yeah. Let me ask you this. What's up? Speaking of them trips, bro. How, <coughs> how did how did you pull off getting all the, all the way to Africa? How, 
I know the logistics. I know everything with that, with all yeah, them yeah. kids. Had to be, I'm talking about, for them it was fun. You can right. clearly see it was fun. It was fun for you right. guys. But I'm talking about waking up every morning knowing I got to get this thing going. It had to be one of them things where you was like, hey, y'all going to make me pull my hair out in a few minutes. Yeah, you saw these grays <laughs> right here. But this is, this is right. Like, five years ago, I didn't have as many. Now I got a whole bunch of them. But um, no, nah, that was, you know, the, the Africa trip. So I was fortunate when I was, uh, I was working for the Saints, but also in jazz to be able to travel mm -hmm. a lot, you know, in my 20s. And so... Um, I knew that these things would be impactful for him if we could pull it off. And we met some people, basically got connected with some folks. And so uh, Afar Media, which is out in New York, their global magazine, uh, had been sending kids on trips. They've been doing it for a while as part of their foundation. And so we got hooked up with the owners of it, um, Greg and Joe. And so they invested in our travel, right? They said, look, we can get boys to go. We did Costa Rica service project. And then we're like, let's do Africa. And they said, well, this is the largest trip we've done. It's like to Africa. And, um, you know, we did two trips already to Ghana. Um, I haven't gone. I want my boys to go. Right, and like, right, right. the kids and like, you know, not have Mr. Sonny over there back. <laughs> um, but I plan to go soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go one of these times. But, right, right. Um, you know, it's getting a group. And so Afar Media, you know, helped cover about half of the cost. Mm -hmm. And then we did a dinner um, and raised the, the rest. And it's a lot with passports. You know, that's, yeah, that, yeah. that's hard because you also have dads that, that may be in jail or, or deceased. And then mm -hmm. you have to try to figure out the passport situation. So we, even this last trip, we were racing to get passports approved and like, you know, all, these, all, of, these, all of these challenges there. But then you got to select the kids, um, but, you know, all the supplies and things like that. And you want them to have knowledge of Africa before you go so that they can appreciate it and mm -hmm. understand what Ghana, you know what I mean? All mm -hmm. those things. And I, you know, I think on our, our website, we might have that Ghana's trip, but it's a series, like, I think three or four part series, mm -hmm. about three minutes each. I encourage everybody to check it out because the boys' response to it, what they thought, they said they felt like kings, princes out yeah, there. Yeah, it was a whole yeah. different, but they also saw people, how, how good, and this is the words of the kids, how good they have it here at home. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just because they were out there doing service projects and seeing people who didn't have as much as they mm -hmm. have. So it was very, it, the perspective for them was good. And these are juniors and seniors that were going on the trip. Uh, but yeah, it was to, to package it together, it's a lot. Um, you know, and I heard Ola, Mr. Ola went. We had a couple, uh, uh, Mr. Ryan went. Um, and so we had some people out there, but they were, there were some challenges, you know, <laughs> but, you know, the kids not, not, you know, having some, some different experiences, but it was good. They enjoyed it. They, 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 like you said, they juniors and seniors in high school, young yeah, men. Yeah, it's absolutely. Going, if you if you were able if you weren't able to see, yeah, they had some challenge. I'd have been like, nah, he oh, yeah. No, no, there's definitely <laughs> yeah. challenges. Right, right, right. Yeah, right. There's definitely challenges. Right, but, right. You know, you just got both those going, man. You know, that's all. Man, they had a good trip though. They had a good time. Right. But you know, those and, and I will say, like people, you know, on that trip, you know, the the company that sponsored, that's what they do. They mm. it's a global map. They do travel, right? They might not necessarily fund our education program in New Orleans or, you know, necessarily mental health. And, and all that, you can say a trip has something to do with all that mental health and education, too. But but, but matching an organization or company's interest with something that you have in an organization is also is very important. You know what I mean? Because their interest is sending kids out there. So it's like, okay, we got kids, so let's send them. So I just say that because people are, oh, okay, you got y'all going all the way to Africa. You know when, when we have stuff here but it's like we wouldn't be able to do that if we didn't have that organization Man. you know because it's not you know you look at what the priorities are of the organization but you just got to match up interest you Man, know? Sonny, you know you just you you, you, you know and i tip my head all to you because you. you really and just, you too right? i tip my head all to you man <laughs> thank, you, bro. You thank you but uh, you really you just drop i'm talking about in this few little minutes here mm. you really dropped a whole lot of knowledge to kind of help our nonprofit organizations here in the city yeah. on how they can go about get funding, how they can match the how they how they know how to how to match themselves up with the right funders and right. the right and the right companies that because you know I'm I'm saying that to say because you know sometimes we'll go we'll think okay this company got this kind of money let me just go ask them for, for some anything. funding anything right, right right and it's not lining up with they what they're doing right. and they like no and then we get mad and be like man they won't 
but you're not yeah. lining up with not what, lining they're, what they're doing. What they're exactly. doing. Just like you said, the media company, yeah, they're probably not doing with the mental health side of things, but they are doing with the traveling part, where they want to see kids go to different parts of the country, exactly. or, or the world. Absolutely. And it's like, okay, since they want to see kids travel to different parts of the world, okay, look, I want to take my kids on a trip to Africa. Right. <laughs> and show them what it look like. Exactly. You know, and it's, okay, cool. Right. There you go. Right, there you go. I mean, because it's, yeah, exactly, and it, it fits, because they understand travel, right, and mm -hmm. all the benefits of it, and we, we do, and so, you know, I tell you what, our boys, they doing well, man, you know, and like, and not to, when I say well, like, there's, there's challenges. I mean, my, my older kids, you know, that, uh, you know, probably my oldest is, what, 23, 24 um, years old now, but, and, you know, they call, and we got to go, and, <laughs> You know, and handle it. We got crisis situations. Wait, wait. I called one of my boys earlier today. But, you know, when you have all these experiences and you can reference different parts of it, remember when this happened, remember when you did this, remember how, how you overcame this during this time? Puts things in a perspective so for wait, you. Know? So wait, son. So once they become a, a saint, once they son of a saint, saint, son of a saint, right. they son of a saint forever. Forever, yeah, 100%. So we, you know, we have to have a graduation time, you know, where... <laughs> A like, ceremony, right, right, right. right? Just like my mom, my mom kicked me out the house. And said, you know, I was yeah, eighteen, yeah, yeah. you on your own. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's time for you to move on. It's time and, for you to and, move and, on. But you can always, yeah, you can. It, oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, our, our alumni, you know, our alumni, we have, I don't know, maybe uh, four different activities for them to come together a year. But they also pop into the office often. You, I mean, our, our oldest actually, Julio. And I say our oldest because he was an intern at 14. He started because he was older than that 12 I was telling yeah. you about. But he's our building manager now, you know. So he's, uh, but but our young men that are out of New Orleans, maybe, you know, going to college, mm -hmm. uh, they're calling us. Because what, what we do is we try to make sure they don't have debt. Mm -hmm. They're going to, to schools that uh, fit their interests. But, like, the first two years are the hardest. First year is the hardest. Mm -hmm. You know, so making sure they got food at, you know, making sure they got their books. Make, there's things they can call us for that will help take care of for them because we have supporters that have been following them for 10 years. Think about it, right? So we got and that have wanna, been following them and, and, and you can match them with, you know, yeah, exactly. You can match them with somebody that can sort of help them along mm -hmm. the way. Um, but, you know, if I had uh, one of our boys, a Scooter, was in our office the other day and, you know, we helped put him through school, but he was... You know, he wants to get into real estate. So he was with Mr. Jesse just going through how to do real estate. And mm -hmm. then we just matching him up with uh, one of our supporters that's in real estate. You know, it's, and it's easier said than done. But it's like, those are the things that we're, that's the network. All of our boys have my network, mm -hmm. right? So my boys have you, right? They got you if I need to call you. So <laughs> you see how it works? So, it, it, you know, we have boys that are interested in something. They can call you. So. That's that's how it is, and, right. and our boys know that. You know what I mean. But it's been built over time. time right, right. You know, it's Man, not just like you bro. know. Uh, so yeah, but damn, so, you you yeah. alright, sir? You all I, right, I try sir? to be, man. You all right, <laughs> sir? <laughs> man, man. shit. Yep. Look, man. We running out of time, and I should, man, there's so much stuff. You sure, I man, we, we, got, we got another hour. <laughs> <laughs> man, there's so much stuff that I won't cover with this guy, man. Yeah. You got to come back. Man, I'd matter, love to, yeah. Matter of fact, bro, when we do this again, we going to do it at Paradise. Let's we, do it. We going to do all it right. at Paradise. All right, let's we're do it. Gonna, I'm, no, down. You, I'm you down. down. I'm we down. Gonna, all right, when we do this again, we going to do Can it Can I interview Friday. you, though? <laughs> always coming on my show and trying to take over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got it's all good. I'm going to ask you at least a couple questions on the just next a, one. Oh, just a couple questions? Just a couple, at least. We'll start and, with a couple okay. and then we'll, and, and, we'll grab. Right, right. See, now he making me want to change my mind about going to paradise. No, we no. Come sit right here on this morning. No, no. We're we going to ask him some questions. <laughs> so I want to know. <laughs> It's all good, man. man. I appreciate you having no, me here, man. man. No, but look, Sonny, for real, we gonna have to come over there again, and I'm talking about, I'm talking about soon, very I, soon. I'm done. Go okay. Whatever you want. All right. You want. All right. We're talking about soon, we get up in there and um and do do stuff, man. Cause like I said, I'm gonna show people what it look like in there. Yeah. I'm gonna put, it, but they they not gonna know unless they in there. You gotta and be in there. You gotta, you gotta see gotta it. Be in there. You, you gotta, gotta be in there. Man, the rooftop blew me away. Yeah, man. Like the rooftop, man. We get up on the rooftop. I was like, what the. A great view of downtown. Yeah, downtown. Yeah. I'm like, oh my God, what yeah. the man is dude? And then, then when we went in the book, um, in the library, to know that you had Baldwin and Company, 
Oh man, um, DJ, DJ, DJ um, oh, man, come out, oh. put put the books in there for the kids, yep. man. The black authors, right? Like, cater to the age group, right? Label. Right. I mean, it's all, man, yeah. bro. It's just and all the art and the, yeah. like I said, the fish tank. What you, what you mean? Oh, yeah, that, the fish tank all the way from California. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, all the way. From, I hit this guy on Instagram. Exactly. I was like, hey, we. You know, I, I remember being in college with the Petco, got a little aquarium, yeah. it was soothing that night yeah. for me. And then we were doing this, I said, can we get an aquarium? Infinity Aquariums out of California said, absolutely, let's do it. So we got a big aquarium and they helped manage it. Um, you know, Slag uh, um, a Magazine, um, mm -hmm. you know, Glenn Foster who passed, right. unfortunately, but his, right. uh, his wife Pam and, and family has been great to us. They did all of the countertops uh, for us and donated, you know, black owned business. So. You know, trying to get as many people involved in the, in the business. I mean, in the building. Um, and you know, it's it's you know we can find time to have people come by and do things there um, that doesn't conflict with our program right, of the right. boys. Uh, we you know we love to have people there, so it's it's good, man. It feels really good, and um, and you know we're gonna continue to grow and steadily, right? Right, right, <laughs> right. <laughs> but I said 200, but over 200 feel like, like 2,000, 20,000 look, 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 times. Man, look, yeah. before you do it, bro, you ain't gonna have no other choice but to go nation. No, nah, you ain't gonna have no other choice, uh, bro. I, I, I know you probably like nah, but as it goes, it, you ain't gonna have no other choice. It's, it's hard, man. <laughs> hey, look, look, every every city has a different political environment, right, different right. support, different leaders. So mm -hmm. we'll see. But I think the biggest thing is is helping to advise other mentorship groups right. um, on, on things we did right, things we did wrong, mm -hmm. things, you know, uh, growing that uh, in best practices right, right, in that right, space, right. I think for me is the best interest because, like, that's, that's going to be able to help the most kids, I right, think, right. you know what I mean, in a shorter period of right, time. Right, right. What, so. what, what about golf out? Ghost out reading. Yeah. Let's, let's start off Ghost out. Yeah, reading. we can start yeah, off Ghost out. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Let's just start off right there. You know, you know some people who can uh, help? <laughs> uh, see, I, see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know you. Yeah, there you go. There <laughs> I you go. know you. So, you know, you, you got to lead me to the people that can help. Look. I got you. I'm a, no, it's all nah, good. But look, we, bro, look, um, anything, because, um, like I said, we, I want I want to be a part of something like this. Yeah. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, you are you are a part of it, man. But like, I, right. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, we want to we yeah. want to be a part of this. Here. We want to work. We want to work together because right now the city needs it. Our mm -hmm. children need it. Right. And man, we just want to thank you for what you're doing right now, bro. Because dude, 12 years in the game. Yeah. You can't. You you. Is a lot of bumps you took. Is a lot of bumps. Is well, a lot of take, You know what I mean? <laughs> right. And, and you just kept going. Twelve yeah. years in the game, man. Yeah. I just damn twelve years. But I remember just a couple of years ago, y'all ten year anniversary. Yeah, ten year anniversary. I remember you yeah. called. You hit me up. You yeah. said, "Hey, we do that. Absolutely, yeah. let's do it." Yeah, right. Yeah. Ten year anniversary. Man, ten year man, anniversary. Time flies. Time flies, man. Yeah. It really does, bro. Oh. You know, we got we got you know a lot of people helping us sustain it. You know what I mean? And. uh you know, we got a great board, right. you know, um, great mentors. The mentors just incredible, giving up their time, you know, and, and their resources mm -hmm. for our boys. Just so many people have helped us get to where we mm -hmm. are now and get to continue to mm -hmm. to grow us, you know. Uh, it takes a lot of work, man, and I wish I, you know, I. I think I've been somewhat honest on here, but I could get I could get down. We, we gotta have some more some more conversations because there's a lot of stuff that uh that I could share. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> man, y'all look, <laughs> man, bro. No, we doing this again, man. I'm I know soon. You, we do, soon. Yeah, soon. I got we doing you. this I got again. You. I got we you. doing this again. We this next time we gonna be at the building, man. Look, y'all. This is dude. I'm telling y'all. This is an amazing program you can put your son in. You. I'm telling you, man. They, App, I'm, I'm going to write. Applications are open now. Okay. Uh, on our website, and we kind of keep it open till September. But like I said, um, you know, there's a process. We got to. They have to fit the criteria, right? Mm -hmm. uh, father's, you know, dead. Uh, it could be natural causes to dead or long-term incarceration over 15 years. Deportation is another one. Mm -hmm. um, and the boys could have all Fs, they could have all A's. It's not about that necessarily, mm -hmm. it's about the, the, some challenges that they may have. And so there's a priority on a list, like I said, if kids uh, fall the loss of violence and things like that. Uh, but we do interviews with the mind, we, we talk to the school. You understand the school, the relationship between 
you know, for us, the mom and the school uh, really determines a lot. It's like we, we can see how maybe they interact or are going to interact with us, right? And so for us, we need one guardian, whether it be an aunt, a grandmother, an older sister, somebody that we can talk to. Because if we're dealing with a 10-year-old, it's not like we can just right. go pull them and do all of our stuff. We need a guardian that is going to um, be there to support them, you know? Right. So y'all, man, y'all hear that? We need... So in other words, what you're saying, we the criteria are parent or um, father lost the gun violence or any violence or natural cause or death, natural cause or death or prison or prison, yeah. fifteen years long term prison, prison sentence, and one of the biggest things that we fail in to realize that we that he want that they need that son of a saint. We need that guardian to be participating absolutely with. The program and with the kid, one hundred percent. We need the guardian. There's, there's no way we could get around it. Yeah. This is not a babysitting facility. Right. This is a facility to keep the kid from going into the prison system, to keep the kid from dying to gun violence. This is what this program is for. Yeah. You know, it's not a babysitting facility. Simple as that. Yeah. So we need the parent, we need that guardian that has the kid to be fully invested. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I said that right? You did, you did. And it's, it's you know, it's a, it's a free program all the way through. Uh, there's a high cost that we have for each kid, um, to be honest with you, but we don't, mom is free for the moms. We also support the moms, you know, that are in the program mm -hmm. too, with, you know, certain mental health, utilities, job placement, things like that, mental health. We. That's a big thing that we don't always say, but we have programs for our moms too. Um, and like I said, we can only take a certain amount of kids per year. You gotta stand these kids with us for 10 years yeah. almost, you know? Like a couple years ago, we took 100 kids. Now we're still dealing with that because there's 100 kids. <laughs> so we had a little bit over two, we had 221 right now. You know, we just took on 21 kids and then we're gonna take another. <laughs> so so I, my point is, we're trying to take the ones with the most need first, right? right? So sometimes need. we get, you know, say, oh, you know, my kid wasn't able to get in. And, and it could have been six years ago, we didn't have the capacity to do it. it. And unfortunately, I feel bad, because unfortunately, we, that kid now might be 16, 17, mm -hmm. or two. you know what I'm saying? So those are the hard things for us, is not being able to take every kid, but it's not because we just don't saying, want, yeah, right, it's like, say, nah, no, nah, they nah, with it. We yeah, don't want exactly, food, exactly. I got gotcha. you, yeah. Sonny Burla, so, man, dude. I, I don't know what else you could do, bro. I don't I, know what else you could do. Man, I didn't know you, doing it. Bro, I didn't know you were doing this with the parents helping them. Oh yeah, with the moms for yeah. sure. Now I did know you had the um the um the grant for Dilla Cell. Uh, you know you had. So it. I'm gonna tell you about that actually. So there's a big piece of this that people didn't know too. So on a, the education side of it. Um, we also, we're able, because we have a relationship with the Department of Education, there's like four or five in the state organizations that could do this. We can apply an individual or business to state tax liability. We have to send kids to tuition-based schools to it, right? So um, we have kids, and a lot of our kids want to go to St. Augs, so St. Augs, the most they can get is 5K, and the school costs, you know, by 10. 10, 10 but yeah. A lot of these schools cost are roughly around 10, so there's a still a remainder, but um, the most that we're able to give is 5K um, to kids, St. Aug, De La Salle. So this is what we're doing. We actually- Sorry, 5K? I, I, I got you. You're talking I, like, that's like a- No, no. Like, man, no, no, I, I know, I know. But I'm saying that there's still a remainder though, right? right? Like right, there's still- Right, right, right. There's still got so, some money to pay right. on that. Now, now with that, we can take care of kids outside of our son of a saint kid. Our core kids, mm -hmm. we can take care of, of kids. And so what we, so with the designation, uh, we're going to take care of boys and girls. So mm -hmm. starting in the fall, we're going to be able to take care of girls um, that are, we have relationships with, um, you know, uh, St. Mary's, um, uh, Xavier Prep, uh, Dominican, those schools. So our kids can now, girls can now go there. So it's something that we are doing in the fall to help, you know, siblings or, or girls, you know, that anybody coming from a public school is able to apply. So you got to come from a public school, you got to fit a certain financial bracket based on how many people live at home. Mm -hmm. um, but if somebody wants to send their kids to one of these schools, we could actually start sending them from middle school all the way, all the way to they finish 12. They can go on our website and look at Son of a Saint Scholars. Is it Scholars is our educational arm. So a lot of people don't know that, but it's, uh, it's something that 
First of all, yeah. I, I didn't know about it neither. Right. Only reason why I know about it, because like I said, my son go to Dillard Cell. Uh -huh. He graduated this year. Yeah. My daughters got accepted and um they going in the eighth grade. <coughs> and the only reason I found out about it is because is because we were doing the scholarships. Uh, uh retail and all that other stuff. Uh, right? Yeah, uh, exactly. and, all yeah, yeah. That, and all that other stuff. And um and my wife looked and said, um, wait, son of a saint. I said, I said, huh? They said, Yeah, they have a scholarship also. Yeah. I said, Really? I was man, my eyes was like, damn. She was like, Yeah. I was like, oh wow. I said, damn, man, that's what made me think. I'm like, and it and it hit me like, man, you really doing yeah. some big yeah, things yeah. in the city with these kids. Yeah, man, man thank you, man. It's and it's about school choice. I mean, we, we don't force our boys to go to tuition based schools nor anybody else, but if somebody if a guardian has an aspiration of the kid going there, the kid wants to go there, we wanna try to uh, you know, remove the financial barrier as much um, as we can, right. right? And so that's what Son of a Saint Scholars is, is about. Um, and so we probably we're probably giving out close to six hundred thousand just in in support there and, and growing. So and it's only going to grow now because things like this and being able to promote it even more. Yeah, yeah. In scholarships, yeah. And so roughly around there, we're going to project a lot more. The more that we could get people, um, you know, support people in it. So it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Yo, man, look, bro. look, man, I can So if you have an organization and you have <laughs> kids that want to go to some of these schools, <laughs> they can go to some of the same schools. And we don't, we actually, if they apply and they fit the criteria, we, we've got to fund them. So it, it's not even up to some of the same schools to select. You know, you're in, you're not in. It's like if you apply and you qualify by the state guidelines, we have to fund it. Now we can only fund it if we raise our money, which right. is something we're required right. to do, which we do. Right, right, but to help fund it. But ain't no, yeah. ain't no way I don't fool with him. It's, Correct. Is it's, they meet the guidelines? Give them the money. They have to. Yep, exactly. So, <sighs> man, look, bro, go to sonofasaint.org right now. Absolutely. And get it. Damn, Sonny, bro, I tell yeah. you, man, you. Y'all doing the damn thing. It's all good, thing, man. I appreciate you. Thing, you are too, man. I keep saying it, man. I appreciate it. Man. You got a lot of views, and it's only growing from here. But the content, the content is real, um, which is which is obviously very important. And you got a huge heart, man. I see it. It exudes. Uh, so just keep on, you know, keep doing what you're doing, and uh, you know. I appreciate yeah, you, bro. You all for New Orleans. So that's what's important. <laughs> I know. I, I know, man. Look. <laughs> You gotta have a heart for this city to do this. Oh man, you yeah. gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it, man. I couldn't see myself anywhere else. Man. Right. I, that's the thing, man. That's the hard thing. I, that's know? the thing. I didn't stay in Atlanta a couple times, and I always came back. Cause I was like, man, I love it. I yeah. love this city, man. I love it, yeah. man. Once again, I want to thank Sunday for coming to sit on the porch. Next time we're gonna be at Paradise. In Mid City, behind Ru Chris. No, not Ru Chris. Behind Crescent City <laughs> Steakhouse. Yeah. And look. Son of a Saint, it's a, we call it a home for our boys. Yes. Uh, it's the it's the Ashna Vivian Lee. It's named after my pops' uh, office and uh, clubhouse. Whenever you want paradise, whatever you want paradise. Call it, call it, call it paradise, man. Right. PlayStation, Xboxes, TV, man. The kitchen, the kitchen in this thing. I'm telling y'all, I got some footage of their kitchen. Man, got like about five different island stations and stuff. Cause they do this cooking class on Wednesday. Mm. Man, look. Gotta come check it out. Man. Man, no, no, I'm gonna be there. All right, all we, right, we, we all gonna right. Be, man, this kitchen is like, look, y'all gonna see it. Y'all gonna yeah. see it. Y'all right. gonna see it. Once again, we wanna thank my dude Sunday for coming sit on the porch. We gonna be in. We gonna be in the Ashna building. The next go round, soon. It's coming up soon. We gonna be in there. Man, look, go to sonofasaint.org right now. The scholarship. How long the scholarship is up? That's scholarship is open right now. Uh, I probably in the next two three weeks. Scholarship is open right now, um, and you can go online to fill out the application up until September to actually try to join. Right. Well, for the for the son of a saint Seven boys, boys, that's that's gonna be open until September. Right. The son uh, of a saint boys. Right. To, for our application mm -hmm. uh, for our next cohort at the end of the year, mm -hmm. eleven at the end of the year. For the scholars piece, the educational funding. They can go up for the next couple of weeks, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, sort of apply there if they want. Right. And so we we get, we take care of our current kids we have in there, and then any new kids that qualify, right. we can. But they got to come from a public school, like I said, and 
All the criteria. It's, it's, it's on the website. It's on the website. We ain't going to go through all that. We ain't going to go through all that. We did that already. Go on the website. Go, go, go. Look. You just got to read. You just got to read. Yeah, yeah. We ain't about to sit here and y'all that. Just go on the website. Read it. Man, look. Thank thank you, Sonny, man, for what you're doing in this city, bro. What you're doing with our kids, man. Keep keep at it. I'm going to see y'all Wednesday because I'm coming in there and see what this kitchen and get a good look at how this kitchen run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, man, thank y'all for on the porch. Come and sit on the porch. Y'all know where it's at on the porch with D and crew on the YouTube channel, on the porch podcast, on IG. Yeah. Go to sonofasaint.org. And you get everything you need to get, man. There it is. Thank you again, Thanks son. Thanks for having me, brother. No problem. Appreciate yeah, you. Absolutely. We out this thing. We Peace. out. Peace.